Hello, this is the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's from the Complete Guide to Godly Play by Jerome Berryman. It's published by the Church Publishing Company, and it's under co copyright to the Godly Play Foundation. I'm so glad you're here today. Welcome. This is a very special time for us in Godly Play. It's a time for us to be with God, to talk to God, to listen to God, and to hear God's stories. But in order to do that, we need to be ready. So let's just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out. There's another way of getting ready and that's we can sing our song. You all know this song. I'll sing, I'll say it and you sing it with me. God, we adore you, lay our lives before you, how we love you. Jesus, we adore you, lay our lives before you, how we love you. Spirit, we adore you, lay our lives before you, how we love you. There's another way we get ready, and that's to light the Christ candle. Once there was a man, and he did such amazing things, and he said such wonderful things, that people began to follow him, and they didn't know who he was. So finally, one day, someone asked, who are you? And he said, I am the light. I have this box. It might be a parable, but in order to, to get into a parable, you have to be ready. If you're not ready, you, you could break the parable. And you know it's gold. It's gold all over. Things that are gold are valuable. Parables are valuable, even more valuable than gold. This box has a lid. Sometimes you can't get the lid off. It's like a door that's closed and you can't get in. But it's okay because that happens sometimes. And you just keep coming back over and over until it does open for you. You know, it kind of looks like a present. You know, there, um, the parables are presents. They're presents that have been given to you, even if you didn't know they've been given to you. And they've been given to you before you were even born. You know, I think too, it looks kind of old. Parables are old. They're, they're older than you. They're even older than me. And they're older than our grandparents. Parables are about 2,000 years old. That's really all I can see. I think we're just going to have to go ahead and open it and see if it helps us. Oh my, look at this. It's brown. It's a lot of brown. And there isn't any blue. There isn't any green. There is just brown. And you know what? It's kind of scratchy. Okay, we have to see what else there is. Oh, look, there's this. I wonder what it could be. looks like a crack. Like it could crack open and everything could fall in two pieces. Well, let's keep going. Oh, look what I found. These are two cities. 
one here and one here. So I think it must be a road, a road from there to there. Hmm. Oh, look at these. These are so dark. There isn't even a shadow. Here's something else that will help us tell the story. Well, once there was a man who did such amazing things and said such amazing things that people followed him. They wanted to listen to him. And sometimes they asked questions. And one day, a man asked the person, what is the most important thing in all of life? And the person who he asked the question to said, you already know that. And the man thought for a minute and he said, love God and love other people as though they were your neighbor. But then he stopped for a minute and he thought and he said, but, but who's my neighbor? And so the man he asked the question to, to told him this story. There was a man. He was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And when he was on the road, he got to a certain point and two robbers jumped out and they beat him and they hurt him and they took everything he had of value and they left him half dead by the side of the road. A little while later, there was a priest and he was going from Jerusalem to Jericho, traveling down the same road. But when he saw the man who had been hurt and who had lost everything he owned and had been left by the side of the road half dead, he went to the other side and he kept going down the road until he got to Jericho. Then there was another man on the road from Jer Jerusalem to Jericho. He worked in the temple. It was his job to keep the temple clean and to help with the music. And so as he came walking down the road, when he saw the man who had been beaten and who had lost everything he owned and was left half dead at the side of the road, he crossed to the other side of the road and he kept on going. And then there was another traveler. Now, he was not from Jerusalem. He was from another country. He was from Samaria. And he didn't like the people from Jerusalem, and the people from Jerusalem didn't like him. And as he traveled down the road, he saw the man who had been beat up, who had lost everything he had, and who had been left half dead by the side of the road. And he went to him, he went right to him. And he put medicine on his, on his uh, cuts, and he gave him his cloak, and he put him on his donkey. And he took him to an inn. And when they got to the inn, he stayed up all night with him to make sure he was all right. And in the morning, he went to the innkeeper and he gave him enough money. And he told the innkeeper to let the man stay there until he was well.
now I wonder, who was this man's neighbor? Was it this man? Was it this man? Could it have been this man? Could it have been these men? This isn't easy. I wonder who his neighbor was. And then I wonder about the other people. I wonder about this man. Who could his neighbor have been? Could it have been this man? Or this man? Or these men? And this man, who was his neighbor? And this one? I wonder who could have been their neighbors. And then I wonder, what if all of this pe the people in this story had been women? I wonder what would have happened then. And then I wonder, what if the person who found the man who had been hurt had been a child? I wonder what that would have been like. These are the robbers. This is the traveler. This is the priest. This is the man who helped in the temple. This is the Samaritan. This is the man helping the hurt man. This is Jerusalem. This is Jericho. These are the rocks. And this is the road. These were all the parts of the parable. And now I wonder, I wonder what work you might want to do today. But first, let's change the light. Now the light is all in one place. We can change the light and make it be in many places. Watch the light. It's changed. It's going up and it's filling the room. And now the light can be in many places. Thank you. I'm so glad you all came today. You all brought your own special gifts to share. Take this story, take it with you this week and keep wondering. God bless you.